Hey guys, it's Amanda. And Josh. <laughs> um, and we just put Sam to bed for the first time as a one-year-old. He's not a little squishy baby anymore. Mm -hmm. And sad. So oh, no. we thought it'd be kind of fun to get together. I mean, we get together every day. And talk about his first year. <laughs> and talk about his first year. Um... What was your favorite part of his first year? Um, definitely trying to get him to laugh while blowing on his tummy. <laughs> I feel like that forgot took, about that. That took forever. <laughs> I think he started that in the Nikki. <laughs> so probably, yeah. He just looked at me like I was an idiot, but that's fun. How about you? Um, I don't, I don't know. I love maternity leave. Mm. and snuggling with him and really like bonding with him but I also feel this summer being off at work uh, or from work I really got to spend a lot of time with him and he's you know he's he was older and he learned a lot and getting to see that yeah and getting to play with him all the time and I mean just just being just being with him but I think maybe learning watching him learn like yeah. overall yeah, that's that's pretty cool. It's just cool to see. Yeah. Yep. No, he's one, and he's just moving right along. And do you see his tooth? Yeah. His tooth is like gonna pop out like any day now. Yeah. He's a year, and he doesn't have any teeth, but it's like right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just as weird as this sounds, I wish that like I could go back and all those times that he was screaming and crying I just wish that I could have held him and enjoyed it more cause, yeah you know what I mean yeah because now he's not gonna want to be held while right. he's screaming he's so independent he's so independent yeah you know? yeah I miss that like newborn wail that meh, meh, yeah meh, that newborn now it's like a banshee <laughs> yeah what else? Anything? I just wish, like, I was thinking about this today, like, I'm on social media a lot, and we run an online business. I'm on my phone a lot, and I just wish there were times I could have gone back and been more intentional about putting my phone down. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, even in, instead of taking pictures, just being in that moment with him. Yeah. And experiencing it, like, I am glad we have as many pictures as we do, and I'm glad that um, I got to document that those moments with, you know, for our friends and our family, but mm. sometimes I wish I would have thought, man, to put your phone down. Yeah. And just be there with him. And yeah. Because he never is looking at the phone. Like, he's not looking at the camera. He's looking at you. Right. He's looking at me and you're trying looking to get, through the yeah. camera, yeah. And that makes so, sense. I think that's something I'll do, like, and then, you know, try in the next year to be more intentional about. Moving forward. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. I think that, I agree with that. I think sure. I'm going to have to anyway, because chasing after him and holding his phone is just not going to yeah, work out for I don't know. Yeah. No. Yeah, I'm on board with that one. Yeah. So, I'm just trying to enjoy every moment more, and even if it's him kicking and screaming. Yeah. You know, just... You're never going to get it back, so right. try to enjoy it. And everybody tells you that, but you don't really think about it until until, until you're here. You're yeah. like, yeah. No. I don't, I hate sounding like cliche, like to all my friends who are thinking about having kids. I don't like telling them that kind of stuff because it is cliche and everybody tells you that. But then right. Like, but no, for real. The, so true. It's so, so true. true. Yeah. <laughs> it Everybody's going to so tell fast. you that. Oh, enjoy all the little moments. Enjoy every moment you can. You're going to get sick of hearing it, but for real. <laughs> Enjoy for every real. moment you can. Yeah. Yep. I think every cliche thing that we've been told is... Is accurate. Is accurate. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All the, all the advice that your grandma and mom give mm -hmm. is... They were right. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Every time they laugh at you for calling the doctor, because <laughs> he... <laughs> A fly ran into his head. Shut up. <laughs> I never called because of that. 
He has a little red spot. I made sure our doctor earned his money this year. Yeah, we gave him a trip to Hawaii, (laughs) probably. Shut up. I don't know. But he's healthy, and that's important, so. Better to be safe than sorry. Peace of mind. Goes a long way. Are you ready for two? Nope. Let's see or turning many, into two. How many terrible two cliches are accurate? You know, I heard three nagers are worse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so basically, it's all a pill from here. <laughs> Great. Although uh, someone told me today or yesterday at school that, like, the jump obviously from any, like newborn to one is huge, but the jump from one to two is like really dramatic. They just are like a whole their own really little person you know right now he's still you know kind of like a baby and still learning things but like by two he will like his whole own personality and all that so i'm I'm excited to see who he's gonna be yeah definitely me too so i guess the moral of the story is enjoy the cliche moments put your phone down put your phone down (laughs) yep listen to grandma she's right (laughs) Well, yeah. Well. They are. They are. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> They've been around the block, so. All right. Well, All right. I'm glad we got to share this time with you guys. And yeah. I'm probably going to go cry some more, so. <laughs> I'm going to go out and get some more Kleenex, so. Let's talk to you later. Bye.